Bethesda games have crime. Always have and always will, but generally in these games it only technically counts as a crime if you get caught. Stop! You violated the law! So in today's video, we're going to put Fallout 4's criminal system to the test to see what exactly we can get away with to see, is it really a crime? I'm not a thief, and I'm not loving your tone. Just given a warning. Landmines are interesting. You could lay one down in the middle of town, and as long as no one steps on it, no crime has been committed. But, what if I laid one on a bar stool in the middle of town and waited for someone to come sit on it? Does the passage of time separate me from the crime? Let's find out. First step was getting the landmine onto the bar stool, which is easier said than done. But after many, many tries, I figured out it's the robot chef that's setting the landmines off. But after a quick trip to the grassy knoll, he wasn't a problem anymore. Oh no, what happened? Then I laid my landmine, took a seat on a park bench, and waited. In-game hours went by until this guy got a little bit too close. The town definitely remembered it was me, so this does indeed count as a crime. Moving on to the next experiment, in the Elder Scrolls games, if you block the line of sight of a store owner, you could rob them and they'd have no idea. So I wanted to test if this trick would work in Fallout 4, so my first step was to go to Trash Can Carla and find something that I could put over someone's head. A metal bucket will work just fine. Then I found my target, spent more time than I'd like to admit getting the bucket upside down so I could put it on the store owner's head, but we finally got there. I got a bit suspicious when the guy kept trying to talk to me, which made me wonder, can this guy see me? So I tried to take something, got caught, and it made me wonder, maybe it's because I'm outside and there's too many witnesses, so I went inside a different store. Will you stop fighting this lady? Just let it happen. But then things got a little weird as she caught me trying to put the bucket on her head. Some ground rules. I'm not a thief. I finally got the bucket on her head, tried to steal the telephone, and she definitely could see me through the bucket. So we learned two things. Stealing is still obviously a crime, and this old school trick doesn't work anymore. The next experiment was pretty straightforward. In these games, you can pick things up and move them around, but it's not technically stealing until you put them into your inventory. So, what would happen if I just picked it up and just ran away with it? Like, all the way out of the city. But loading out of the city removed the Nuka-Cola from my hands. So I tried again, but this time I backed away to where the store owner couldn't see me, and then I put it into my inventory, but I kind of turned myself in as I didn't realize this guard was right behind me. I tried it a third time with this Nuka-Cola Quantum, took it to a different store owner, accepted it into my inventory, it said I was caught and that the store owner was on his way, but this dude can't exactly come and get me. So after a few seconds of confusion and wondering what was going to happen, the entire town broke out into a frenzy and started killing each other. So I guess we learned if the store owner is a robot and can't reclaim his property, it is a crime, but everybody's guilty. The next experiment was also pretty straightforward. In Fallout 4, you have to load into a business, so I wondered, what happens if I pull the pin out of a frag grenade, throw it into a business, and then leave? Does the loading screen remove the crime? Let's find out. At first, everything was going to plan. I threw the grenade, but then I kind of panicked and couldn't find the door, so it went off, and you go figure, murder is still a crime. So I tried again, carefully locating the exit, threw the grenade, and then ran outside. As the seconds ticked by, everybody outside seemed pretty calm, so I decided to head back into the business. But as you can see, she's totally fine, which proves that throwing a grenade into a business is not a crime. Uh, unless it blows up and you're still in the store. That's murder. As we discussed earlier in the video, landmines are tricky things. Huh, landmine to a guard's face is not a crime. But with this next experiment, I wanted to know what would happen if I filled a store owner's stall with landmines and waited all night for him to return. Would they go off like they did on the bar stool, or would the passage of time alleviate me from the crimes? Let's find out. So I snuck over at night to lay the landmines, but not really sneak, no one really gives a shit that you lay landmines in town. It's not a crime. Kinda weird. But either way, I laid the landmines and I waited across the street all night to see what would happen in the morning. The store owner lives in the door directly behind his stall, so he should be the first person to hit the landmine. In theory, I don't know, this guy was getting kinda curious. But as the sun came up, the landmines went off, so I checked the instant replay. And as it turned out, his kid left the house first, setting off the landmines. Which goes to show, as long as the kids are the ones setting off the landmines, it's not a crime. And with my final experiment, I wanted to see if I could drop a mini nuke on Diamond City and not get charged with a crime. So let's try. First off, just so we understand the rules, dropping a mini nuke on Diamond City is absolutely a crime. They'll hate you for it. So next, I tried launching a mini nuke, but exiting the city at the moment of impact. As you can see, the guards outside don't seem to think I did anything wrong. So I went back into the city, but they definitely remember a nuke just got dropped on them. So next I thought maybe some distance from the actual crime would make me innocent. So I launched it from the top of Diamond City. But yeah, they still didn't like that. Then I had an idea. What if I launched the nuke at Diamond City and sprinted up and began a conversation with somebody before the nuke actually detonated? As you can see, I'm too busy she gossiping to be charged with a crime. Definitely. 
But then I ultimately came to the conclusion that you can launch mini nukes in Diamond City. As long as nobody gets hurt, then it's no harm, no foul. Okay, all right, just, just come over here. Over, put your head down, like right there. All right, now put come right up to this and say hi. Hi. Good job, all right. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the Lord, he had to come say hi. But guys, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. It means a lot that you guys are watching, you know, these longer videos, but it means a lot to me. But guys, this video has been my, I don't even know what I'm going to call it, me testing the criminal systems in Fallout 4. Originally, this video was going to be a comparison, doing these exact things, comparing it to how it works in Fallout 4 versus, say, Fallout 3. But I found I had enough footage of Fallout 4 to make its own video. Maybe I'll do one just for Fallout 3 or maybe do a comparison of Fallout 3 versus New Vegas. Either way, those videos sound fun, so I'm sure I'll make them eventually. But guys, let me know down in the comments what crazy wacky crimes have you gotten away with in Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Grand Theft Auto, anything. And if I like them enough, I might feature it in a future video. How cool is that? But guys, as I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you guys. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Life from My Basement where I make new videos like the one you're watching right now every single week. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future content. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you.